You cannot focus on a thought without feeling that thought within you. And so now what we're looking at is what feeling. Feeling really is the only thing here. We, there's no exercises required or nothing. All there are is being present in the moment with attention to feeling and being conscious of my own feeling, aware of my feeling. And what that tells me is when I don't have a lot of my own thinking, then the only flow that there is, is this intelligence, this truth. The moment my attention goes to a thought that happens to be floating around that says something like, hmm, maybe this won't work out for me, of pessimism, or boy, I hope I get some money soon because I'm going to be in big trouble, right? If not, so I get, I get a worry or a peace coming in. I will feel that thought within me. And that vibration of that thought compared to the vibration of truth is a much lower vibration. And when you take these two vibrations, bump them up against each other, you will feel the disharmony yes. of what you are focused on. And what it says is you will continue to feel the disharmony unless you're willing to let go of. Stop being so interested in that thought. Let go of that thought. Uh, yeah, but if I let go of that thought, then what? Well, then you'll have intelligence. <laughs> but our, but what if I stopped worrying? What if I stopped being pessimistic? Like, then what am I left with? Then you're left with intelligence. Then you're left with the infinite intelligence, the all-knowing that would flow. And that you can tell it came in because you rise in vibration. You feel so much better from that focus than you do from your own. So this will be easy.